Sunday night football heads to New England. Foxborough will be cooking because Tom Brady, the chosen one, is back to face his old mentor, Bill Belichick. The Patriots, a seven-point underdog at home against the Bucks. Total of 49 here. And I have to go with the Patriots. I got to go plus seven. I know they didn't look good last week. I wonder if part of that was a look ahead. You wouldn't expect that from Bill Belichick. But who knows? A rookie quarterback going up against Tom Brady sounds like a recipe for disaster. But part of me wonders if... <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, man, we should have gone against the Bucks and, and against the Pats uh, last week. We, like, I wonder if it was a look ahead spot for both of them. I, I wonder how much emotion plays into this. Do you think any of it plays into it? Uh, yeah, I think these people are people. I mean, I think they're real, and and you know they have feelings just like everybody else. So absolutely, I think emotions are going to be a part of this. What What do you make of this game? I, I know. I know the Patriots did not look good last week. So, well, hang on, whoa, whoa, let's stop. The Patriots aren't good, Gary. Like, what's good on their team? Is their offensive line good? The answer that's no. By no, the answer that's no. I've watched them. I've watched them three weeks in a row. You're, you're taking too long. The answer is no. Okay, is 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 Max good? The answer to that right now is no. no. Max Max not good. Are the wide receivers good? No, no. No, the answer is no. Okay, uh, are, are are the tight ends good? They're supposed to be, but they're they're not playing very well right now. One of them's hurt. Are, are the running backs good? Well, they got one good one, and then uh, you know a bunch of guys that we just don't know a whole lot about. Okay, so if the offense is terrible, the offense is really bad, which it is. Then then how can the defense hang at all when they're on the field constantly? This team is not good, Gary. Yeah. Okay. So, so is the is the right answer to this actually Bucks minus seven? Like, does does Tom I Brady think, want to go in here and just put it to uh, his his old boss? Well, it's just a matter of can they stop him? Because I, does he want to? Yeah. Can he's going to try to? Can the can the Pats do anything about that? I, I guess I guess not. Now that, I mean. So here's where Tampa Bay's weak right now. Tampa Bay secondary is absolute Swiss cheese. Okay, they they are calling in Richard Sherman to try an emergency case this thing. Okay, like they they they've been decimated in the injuries from the secondary perspective. But there's no team in the world you want to play if your secondary is banged up in the Patriots right now. Yeah, yeah, like that. I, there's nobody to throw the football to. I mean, like, I, I I don't even... I'm looking at the injury list for the Patriots. I I mean, so Belichick did say on Monday it's a possibility that, that Nikhil Harry returns to practice this week. That's irrelevant. But I, that doesn't do anything for me. You know, yeah. I I don't know. Like, I, I want to take the Pats so bad in this because it feels like one of those games that that should go down to the wire, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to flip my pick. <laughs> it should, it should be a great game, Gary. It it should, should. We all deserve this to be a great game. Yes. I, we, we're going to need a miracle from the Pats for this to be a great game. I'm, I'm going to take, all right, I'm going to go with the Bucks. I'm going to take the Bucks. That's, God, I feel like this is, this is setting me up. This is, this is not. Well, one I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my Pats to cover, just to keep it close. That's it. But I have no. The only thing they can do is run the football. But but a they got a bad offensive line, and b they're playing the best run defense in football. So that's going to be really hard to do. I'm hoping we see some flashes of Mac. All I can hope for is that Mac sees this as his opportunity to show Patriot fans, hey. Tom wasn't everything. You've got me, and, and we're going to be okay. I, I, I don't. I don't think they can win the game. I, I never like taking the dog if I don't think they can win. This is one of those times where I'm I'm taking the dog, and I don't think they can win. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm with you. I Tampa Bay number seven in overall DVOA. New England twenty one. 
Uh, New England's offense is number 26 in that metric. Tampa Bay's defense is number 17. Uh, New England's defense, number 8. However, Tampa Bay's offense is number 5. So, maybe, maybe it can be close somewhere. I don't know. I, you you talked me into the Bucks, and then you took the Pats. <laughs> well, I'm going to always take the Pats. Yeah, what do I do with the, what do I do every week in the college football game? It's a, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. I you're tell right. you all the reasons to stay away from my Tigers. But if you make me pick, I'm not picking against them. I'm just not going to do it. That's, a, yeah, you, you got a point there. You got a point. Let's see. Let's let's talk red zone with them. New England's offense number thirty two in the league in the red zone. Tampa Bay's defense, That's however, Tampa Bay's defense is not great in that spot. Number twenty five in red zone DVOA. As far as the other side of the ball, Tampa Bay's offense red zone DVOA number four. He gets down there. Tom Brady is going to get him in the end zone. New England, their defense DVOA is is number twenty three in the red zone. So that's not good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm a I'm a roll with the pat or with the uh, with the Bucks minus seven, so that's probably the right side. <sighs> what a what a pain! What a pain! Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.